This man was undefeated as an amateur and climbed to kickboxing's highest peaks. Here is Gabriel Varga. Thirty-one-year-old Gabriel Varga, the former Glory Featherweight Champion who resides in, well, my former stomping grounds of beautiful British Columbia, in fact, lives in the provincial capital of Victoria, began his martial arts journey at the age of eight when his father, Keith, who was a boxer in Karateka, introduced him to Shotokan Karate. Varga's a second-degree black belt in Shotokan. At age 17, he, along with his two brothers, Aaron and Jacob, switched to training in kickboxing and Muay Thai, and well, the rest is history. That history includes winning the Glory Featherweight Championship, something he wants to do again tonight. He stepped in on short notice and stepped up a weight class in Copenhagen to continue his glory unbeaten streak. Here is Sergei Adamchuk. Twenty-six-year-old Glory Featherweight Champion Sergey Adamchuk, perfect five and zero oh in the Glory Ring, thirty-three and five overall, with fourteen wins coming inside the distance. Defeated Gabriel Varga for the championship at Glory twenty-five Milan. Defended it against Mosab Abrani at Glory twenty-eight in Paris this past March, and then in April stepped up and defeated Mohamed El Mir at Glory twenty-nine in Copenhagen. And here is the tale of the tape for this championship encounter set for five three-minute rounds. The biggest thing you're going to see between these two athletes is that reach advantage of Gabriel Varga. And he mentioned in the last fight he wasn't using his reach enough, so this time he's planning to keep a little bit more distance where Adam Chuck is going to use a little bit more of his boxing and his angles. And both guys already talked about staying out of the clinch this time. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. Five rounds for the Glory Featherweight Championship of the World. Both men have worn the belt. Both come to reclaim and take home kickboxing's biggest prize. This bout sanctioned by the Commonwealth of Virginia Department of Professional and Occupational Regulation. At the opening bell, your referee is Chris Wagner. To Glory fans watching around the world, from Norfolk to Norway and all points in between, it's time for Glory! <laughs> Let's meet the challenger. Fighting out of the black corner, he won the Glory Featherweight Contender Tournament in 2014. His professional record, 27 wins with three losses, eight of those wins coming by knockout. Standing 5 feet 10 inches tall, 1.78 meters, he weighed in at fight time at an even 142 pounds, 64.4 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Canada, he is the former featherweight champion of the world. He is Gabriel Varga. His opponent standing on my left and fighting out on the white corner successfully defended the belt at Glory 28 Paris. His record, 33 wins with five losses, 14 of those coming by knockout. At five feet, eight and a half inches, 1.74 meters. He weighed in at 142 pounds, 64.4 kilos. Fighting out of the Ukraine by way of the Netherlands. He is the reigning and defending Glory Featherweight Champion of the World. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Sergei Adamchuk. Once again, your referee is Chris Wagner. Gabriel. Sergey. Right here, right here. Right here. 
the Jellies for the Glory Featherweight Championship of the World. What a nice clean fight. Being my commands at all times. In case of a knockdown, go to the neutral corner. I tell you to go to. Remain there until I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them up. Yes. Judge. 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 So here in Glory 32, Virginia, five three-minute rounds, or maybe less, for the Glory Featherweight Championship. The champion, Sergei Adamchuk in the white gloves, the former champion and challenger, Gabriel Varga, in the black. Their first meeting at times degenerated into an ugly clinch fest. Repeated warnings by referee Stefano Valenti, and yet never deducting a point from Adamchuk. If he would have done that, it would have been a draw. Varga would have retained the title. Yeah, that was a, a big call not to take a point away. But again, Varga didn't feel confident in his range and his boxing. So he felt he did a lot of training to avoid and stay out of the clinch. It would be nice if they avoid moments like right. that. The first thing you see is uh, Serhei being a southpaw. So again, that changes things a lot. Adam Juke not a volume striker by any means. And already we've got, this is. Wow. One neck one. One neck one. Docked. I thought last time he did that too. Just check it. Can you continue? Come on. Good. Okay. We can't treat it. We gotta go. Yes or no? Wow. It's not bothering his vision. It's good. It's on the side. Side of the head. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right here again. Right here. Right here. Right here. That's accidental. <laughs> accidental headbutt. Accidental headbutt. Back in the corner. Watch your head. Okay? Got it? Both of you, watch your heads. Ready? Fight! So, referee Wagner admonishing them both, and uh, you heard the commentary from Gabriel Vargas saying that happened in the, the last fight as well, but they will continue the, the cut in a just over or the side of the right eye. Shouldn't impair his vision at this stage. You just have to hope that that doesn't take a lot of confidence out of the striking. But Adam Chuk fighting from a southpaw stance. Varga, the taller, ranger, longer fighter. Fight out, fight out. I like when Vargas using those kicks on the outside. It keeps a little bit more range, and it keeps Serhei's punches. Slow, slows them down, keeps them in check. Here are the respective corners barking out instructions. To their fighters, and uh, here we are again, and this time it's, uh, it's Vargo who is initiating the clinch, and you, you see, uh, Adam Chuk, who has a law degree, wants to be a lawyer. He pleaded his case there, saying, hey, not, it's not me. There was a good combination that connects from Adam Chuk. The blood uh, in that eye beginning to, to look like a mess. Sometimes just fighters and styles cause clinching. We saw the same thing with Simon Marcus and R10 Levin. Don't remind me. Stop. Break. Step back. Fight. Body kick from Varga. Very tentative start to this featherweight championship fight. Ten seconds. Already seen an accidental headbutt that has opened a cut around the right eye of Gabriel Varga, the challenger. Stop. Right. Ah. As we heard uh, Varga say, the same thing happened in their first fight in Milan. When one fighter's coming in, crashing with punches, and the other fighter doesn't move, or he comes in as well, that's causing a headbutt.
hard to see where the cut happened. There was more of a, a grazing headbutt. But even in those range there, so one of those guys have to really push off and create distance. And again, it has to be very frustrating for Varga early in the round of his title uh, to get a cut early on. And let's hope he, he stays focused and is able to stick to his game plan. Fight! Round number two scheduled for five for the Glory Featherweight Championship. The champion, Sergei Adamchuk in the white gloves. The challenger, Gabriel Varga, in the black. Again, considered two of the best technical fighters. Good exchange. guys, are, they're, they're both of them are crashing in with, with their boxing. They like to set their punches up with their kicks, keep the fight on the outside. They don't need to crash in and go head to head all the time. Like waves crashing in on the, uh, the beaches here in Virginia. And again, time is called by the referee. Happens again, I'm taking away points, I'm going to squat for you guys. You can, go ahead. Stop coming in head first, you understand me? Stop. Let's go. Fight! Well, referee Chris Wagner taking control of the fight and warning both of them could take points away or even disqualify them. And, uh, you know, they say styles make fights, and, uh, well, so far, <laughs> these two are like a leisure suit, my friend. It's not the uh, most aesthetically pleasing matchup, but, uh, again, they're close, they're clinching. Fight. You hear Big Mike in the corner calling for the low kick. In the earlier Glory fights, you saw Serhei using a lot of that rear low kick, attacking the back leg. But again, he's been focusing a lot on his boxing and less on his, on his kick. Oh, there's the knockdown by Gabriel Varga. Six, seven, eight, hey, you okay? Come to me here. Foot. So a somnambulant start. And we've got a knockdown here in round number two with a minute left. Let's see if that will pick up the pace as Gabriel Varga, the challenger, scores the knockdown of the champion. He really needed that for that confidence, especially with that cut. But he's finding good success with that right hand. But if you notice, he landed that at a, at a longer range and distance. So he needs to keep throwing it from further away. It's been a night of knockouts here at Glory 32. And we have the first knockdown in this championship affair. And the featherweights, of course, would love a, a piece of that knockout action, not just the light heavyweights. Although between them, just 22 knockouts. Not known for their knockout power, but known for their proficient technique and uh, a good confidence booster for Gabriel Varga here in round two. Let's take a look at that knockout. He found a nice short right hand, and it was actually the left hook of Varga as Adam Chuk was exiting. Perfectly timed, sets it up with the right hand. As soon as Adam Chuk exits from the close range, perfectly timed left hook. Well done by Gabriel Varga. He really needs to capitalize on those transitions, either when Adam Chuk is coming in or when Adam Chuk is exiting. Those are his money shots. Fight. Round three. The Glory Featherweight Championship. Fight here between Sorry, Adam Chuk and Gabriel Varga, and uh, some more clinching. 
Berger has really good kicks on the outside. I'm not sure why he's not using them a little bit more. Adam Church landing on the inside, but he needs to use his angles a little bit more. Big Mike keeps calling for that rear low kick. With Adam Chuck being the shorter fighter, that's a good strategy to go inside. He's inside, use that exit that low kick. You have Vargas corner now saying push off the face, create space, create some range to be able to throw some punches. Those are the kicks that Varga needs to throw. Just past the midpoint of this round number three, Varga scored a knockdown in round two. That cut was the result of a accidental head clash in round one. Blood on both sides of Vargas' face now. I'd like to see Adam Chuk again use his kicks also. Being a southpaw, that's a perfect opportunity to throw your power left kick or your straight left. Varga working the body with a combination. Vargas using the body body head mentality. Hit the body, go upstairs. Right up, right up, right up. Stop! Break. Fight! Instructing them to fight out. Clinches continue to be the the order between these two. Not a lot in terms of offense. Glory featherweight champion, Sir Adam Chu. There's Gabriel Vargas, fighter profile. All right, we're headed to the penultimate round, the championship rounds here on Glory 32. Seen a lot of fistic fireworks tonight, but not so much here in the main event. Let's see what they have in store for us here in round four as Alyssa lets us know that it is the fourth round that's coming up here at Glory 32, Virginia. Chuck needs to be a little bit more active. On my unofficial scorecard here, I have Varga up uh, two rounds to one, and especially with that knockdown, that puts Varga up, in my opinion, two points. Varga, who in essence is really his own coach. He and his brother come up with a game plan when he gets a chance to travel to the Stop. mainland of Stop. British Columbia, Vancouver area. Fight. He sometimes spars with glory veteran Josh Johnson. Adam Chuka, of course, representing Mike's gym in the Netherlands, and that gym has produced a lot of big name fighters. Yeah, that's, that's a big advantage for him, having that constant high level sparring. But it just shows how technical and how intelligent of a fighter Varga is to do 
get to the level he is with such limited sparring and training partners. Varga won the Glory 17 Los Angeles Featherweight Contender Tournament. He did return to the win column with a decision over Lou Wei back in January. But this is his first fight back in glory since losing the title to Adam Trude at Glory 25 Milan in November of last year. Just past the midpoint of the fourth round. Jumping knee by Varga has Adam Chuk cornered. Good head movement by Adam Chuk, and they continue to jockey in Greco Roman wrestling position. I like that knee of Varga. If Adam Chuk keeps coming in with that aggressive boxing, that straight right knee up the middle is a perfect strike. There's the tie clinch and the switch knee there by Varga that missed. Southpaw Adam Chuk needs to start firing. We told you that he's. Not about volume, although he needs to pump it up here. With 30 seconds left in the fourth frame. He needs to keep up with those low kicks. He just needs to be a little bit more active. Stop. Gabe Varga needs to capitalize on, on being the taller fighter. Yeah, take advantage of those physical advantages. Throw that jab, throw the kick on the outside. Try to time Adam Chuk trying to come in. Good left hand by Adam Chuk. The fifth and final round with the Glory Featherweight Championship up for grabs is next. So the fifth and final round, and, and really, this uh, could determine the winner of very close rounds, except Varga did score the knockdown in round and two. Received a cut over the right eye, courtesy of an accidental head clash in round one. But Varga has, for the most part, dictated the pace. The range, working the body, has been the, the more active, the busier of the two fighters. And I, you have to think, that's what's gonna steal in this fight. He's constantly pushing the pressure. Seems like he's landing more of the clean shots. Well, he told us he needed motivation to get the belt. He t said that once he, he did win the belt, he kind of lost his motivation. Well, he needs to be motivated here against Surrey Adam Chuk in the fifth and final round. Who wants it more? This is a big opportunity, especially for Team Canada kickboxing. We've done a great Look job. Look at that, though. Total strikes dead even in terms of the strikes landed. Vargas thrown a lot more. Again, these stats courtesy of fight metric. And again, the numbers only tell a, a part of the story. But in that regard, and there are now a couple of left kicks by Varga. And I believe, unless that's the blood of Fight. Varga, yeah, I, I think it is, right? That's Varga. It, it looks like Adam Chuk does, does a little a cut, cut in between well? rounds. I was able to see a cut uh, between the eyebrows of, of Surya. So Varga, oh, out, excuse out, me, Adam Chuk out, landing a couple of nice Stop. left kicks to the body. Fight. Now Varga busy, but look up on the ropes. Adam Chuk delivers a combination and then immediately clinches. Fight! You're in and you're out, Don't let him freeze. The 
Minute left of the fight. Parker's corner is calling for in and out movement. You don't need to go head to head when he's out in the corner. Keep your range, keep your distance, fire your kicks. Fight. Spinning back fist blocked by Gabriel Varga with the final 30 seconds remaining. In a competitive fight again, Varga recorded the knockdown in round two. Looms large here as we look like, uh, it looks like we're gonna go to the judges' scorecards just like they did in Milan at Glory 25. Adam Juke recorded the razor thin decision. Something tells me it's going to be conjoined twins close again when it comes to the judges' totals in this one. So they go the distance again in the rematch. The five championship rounds. We go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals. The judges score this bout 48 47, 48 46. And 48-48, a majority decision for your winner and new Glory Federate Champion of the World, Gabriel Varga. So it's now one apiece as Gabriel Varga reclaims the Glory Featherweight Championship from Sergei Adamchuk via majority decision. So as close as close can be, my man. It was a very tough fight to score, but it was that second round knockdown by Varga which stole him the fight. Let's go up to Todd Grisham, who's standing by with the new Glory Featherweight Champion. He is the new champion, ladies and gentlemen. What was different in this fight from the first time you fought him? <laughs> <laughs> that knockdown in the second round. Um, I've watched him fight a lot of tough guys, um, bigger guys and they couldn't seem to put him down. And when I put him down, it sort of boosted my confidence a little bit. I kind of reverted back to the game plan of uh, just rushing, and it wasn't exactly what the, the fight I wanted. It was a little uglier, and again, I just have to push the pace, but his footwork is so good. Uh, my game plan just wasn't working. I wasn't able to implement it the way I wanted. If, if you didn't have that knockout, you wouldn't have won the fight, so it did loom large. How bad was that cut? It seemed like the doctor took a lot of time trying to decide whether to let you continue. That was uh, frustrating. My brother had to tell me back in the corner right away. He's like, don't focus on that. As soon as he hit me, I just went, no. This happened last time. And it's just it's distracting. You know, you got the blood dripping. You're extra worried about getting hit there again because you know it could rip open and stop the fight. Right. And I trained for two months. I don't want the fight to stop in the first round, but... I also don't want to lose because of a illegal blow. You mentioned last time how hard it was for you to be focused as the champion. Now that you have the belt back, what's your mindset? It feels good to have it back. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of mental work to do before the next fight. Because once I get back here, I get, uh, I'm just too happy. You know, where do you go from here? You're, you're back where you want to be and you have to respect guys like uh, George St. Pierre who win a belt and hold it for as long as they do. You know, I got it last time and and I lost sight of staying at that top level, so I'm gonna have a lot of work cut out for me. Who would you like to defend your title against first if you were given the shot to pick the guy? I'd like to see a uh, tournament. I won last time and uh, I went right to Adam Chuck without winning a tournament. Uh, I would like to see some guys uh, qualify through a four man like I had to qualify to win. Congratulations. Thank you so much. He's the new champion, ladies and gentlemen. One final time, Gabriel Varga.